I really loved this film, I can tell you. Tinker Taylor, I thought it was I'm a joy. I'm glad you did, so do I. Yeah, good. Uh, complex little story, isn't it? Oh, yes. I mean, if you're thinking of having a nap, don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because you're going to miss it. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those films that uh, invites you in mm. and says, come and join us. Yeah. We've done something here. Come and join us. Come and join us. Come and join us all the time. And if you, if you can't go with that, then don't go. Yeah. That's a simple, uh, simple tale to tell. Uh, the story itself, can you give us an indication as to what it's about? Give us a rough idea. Well, it, it's a John le Carré book, obviously, and it's, it's a classic, and it's one, probably his masterpiece. Yeah. Um, it's, it is a, incredibly involved, but, but that, that's its beauty as well, you know? Mm. It, it's, I wouldn't like to say that it was incredibly involved and put anybody off, because it really is its beauty. It's, uh, um, it, it's, as I say, it's constantly inviting. It's MI6, it's a spy piece, uh, and it is um, essentially the, at the center of it, you have, at the beginning, you've got my part, which is control. Mm -hmm. Um, who is exactly what you'd expect with a name like Control. Yeah. So, um, uh, and he comes up with a, what is considered to be a lunatic idea that there may be somebody, uh, a mole, a betrayer, mm -hmm. at the very center of the top of, 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 uh, of, of MI6. Um, it turns out that he's, he's quite correct. And really, the whole film is, is, is finding out this. But of course, what, what it allows is a huge amount of, of, of uh, emotional feeling mm -hmm. because it is, it's, dealing with, uh, it's dealing with betrayal. Mm -hmm. There is nothing in this world worse than betrayal, in a sense. And. Uh, these are people that he's worked with all his life. And Smiley, of course, who is the main character played by Gary Oldman, absolutely yeah, brilliant. Super performance, yeah. Oh, whoa. Yeah. what a thrill. Um, it's, 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 in many ways, the, I was sort of watching it, it's, it's everything James Bond isn't. You know, the, the, the guys have, are kind of bellies and big glasses, and the women are, well, they're the women that are in it, and, and the houses are a little bit low key. Uh, you oh, know, but, it's, it's, there's no the fast cars, the cars are the, Citron as opposed to a, an Aston Martin. Do you know what I mean? Well, it's that's kind what, of grimy. Actually, in the 70s. Uh, Gary said that his Aston Martin was his glasses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they're about the size of an Aston Martin. This, yeah, this, the, they're brilliant, though, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. But it's a kind of probably more, a much more realistic portrayal of the spy world than any other film. Oh, it's more realistic, yeah. it, it, certainly, than, 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 um, than James Bond or anything yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, sure. It's not a romantic piece in no. that sense. But it is a romantic piece insofar as that it is. Uh, it, it deals with emotion mm. in that sense. It deals, it deals with real emotions that people can understand and feel for and bleed for and, and thrill for. It's been called uh, this yeah. year's King's Speech. I don't know if you've heard that being said of it. Um, and I suppose that's because it's a particularly British film. It's, it's got an amazing cast. Helps that Colin Firth is in there, possibly. But Colin, I might say, it's wonderful yeah, in the film. Yeah. It's absolutely wonderful in the film. Yeah. So do you think it's going to be the big, the big one this year for British film? Oh, who knows? We've got everything going for us. All yes. we need is you to go and see it. Yes, yes, yes. yes.